If you want to get one of these, you're going to need one of these and one of these. If you've never purchased a gun before, it can be daunting to take that first step. Purchasing requirements vary wildly between states and even counties and cities sometimes have different laws. Some states require that you have a permit, license, or a special ID to buy a gun. Others require that you take a safety class. Some have waiting periods from 72 hours to as long as 10 days before you can pick up the gun after you buy it. And some have restrictions on the types of guns you can buy or you have lists of guns that are approved for purchase. As different as state laws are, let's focus on what the federal government requires first as a starting point. To purchase a gun from an FFL, a federal firearms licensee, essentially a gun dealer or store, you must present a photo ID that has your current address on it. You must also be at least 18 years old to purchase a long gun, a rifle or a shotgun. You must be 21 years old to purchase a handgun. Each sale through an FFL requires that the buyer fill out the ATF Firearms Transaction Record, Form 4473, and go through a background check using the National Instant Check System, or NICS. As far as federal requirements go, that's pretty much all that's required. Private sales from one individual to another where neither party has a federal firearms license are not required to have a background check at the federal level, but some states do require any private transfer to be processed by an FFL. When you fill out the Form 4473, it will ask for your identifying information, name, address, date of birth, race, etc. It'll then ask you a series of qualifying questions to determine if you're eligible to purchase the gun. Some of the reasons that you may be ineligible are a conviction for a felony, a dishonorable discharge from the military, a misdemeanor conviction for domestic violence, being a user of narcotics, being a non-legal immigrant, or having been involuntarily committed to a mental institution. Keep in mind that even if your state has legalized marijuana, it's still federally illegal. So if you're a user of marijuana, claiming that you are not on this form is a federal felony. There is one question in particular that often gets people in hot water without their realizing it. This is the first question in section 21. Question A asks if you're the actual purchaser of this firearm. It's illegal to purchase a firearm for another person whether or not they are prohibited from owning the gun. You may purchase a firearm as a gift for another person, but that person may not trade, pay, or promise anything in return. In many cases, if you tell the FFL that you're purchasing the gun for another person, the dealer may opt not to sell it to you because of the risk to their license if they do so illegally. For example, if you tell the dealer that you're purchasing this gun for your wife, they may tell you to bring her in for the background check rather than sell the gun to you. While it may be legal for them to still sell you the gun, the risk of misunderstanding and selling you a gun illegally isn't worth the risk to them. And you definitely never want to purchase a gun for someone who can't purchase one for themselves. That's a federal felony that can land you in prison for 10 years. I remember being in a gun store when a Spanish speaking family came to the counter to purchase a gun. One of them said to another in Spanish that he could pay him back next week. The buyer then spoke in English to the sales associate that he wanted to buy a gun for himself, not knowing that the associate spoke Spanish and had overheard the promise from the other party to pay the buyer back later. The gentleman was upset that the associate would not sell him the gun and accused him of racism because he heard him speaking Spanish. It had nothing to do with the language spoken, but everything to do with what was said and not breaking the law. The ATF is very serious about straw purchases or people illegally purchasing guns for other people. FFLs and those purchasing those guns can both face civil and criminal penalties for a straw purchase. Non-immigrant aliens are prohibited from purchasing a gun in the U.S. unless they meet certain rare circumstances such as being a diplomat with permission from the State Department or a law enforcement official from a friendly nation. Permanent resident aliens are allowed to purchase a firearm and can answer no to question 21N and leave box 21N.2 blank. Permanent resident aliens should also bring their government resident alien ID card with them for the purchase. For those who are in the military and stationed to a different state than their civilian ID lists, they need to also provide their military ID and a copy of their orders listing their duty station. Instructions giving detailed information about each part of the Form 4473 are printed on the back of the form. 
Sportsman's Warehouse uses a digital version of the form on a tablet that you can request a paper form so that you can read the instructions if you prefer. The best way to determine if you're going to be eligible is to talk with the associate at the gun counter and ask them what you need to do to buy a gun. They will know what disqualifiers may apply, what the state or local requirements are, and if there are any special classes that you need to take or permits that you need to obtain. Also, if you answer all of the questions on the Form 4473 honestly to the best of your ability, you're not going to be arrested or charged with a crime if you're denied during the background check. Many people don't know they have a warrant or a restraining order or that misdemeanor that they were convicted of 25 years ago disqualifies them today. You only face criminal penalties if you lie on the form. Each sales associate is rigorously trained in the procedure for processing the sale and understands the federal and local laws regarding gun sales and transfers. Each sale is also double-checked by another associate who has the same training. If you have any question about your eligibility or the process, they're happy to assist you to make the transaction go smoothly. And if you don't live near a Sportsman's Warehouse store, you can go online to sportsmans.com and check out their more than 15,000 firearms in their inventory and order them and have them shipped to the FFL of your choice.